This video is about finding missing angles in a right triangle. Here's an example. I want to find the value of x that's in the picture. As I look at angle x, in fact I'm going to circle that and make a little note. That is an angle, angle x. x is the measure of that angle. I'm looking at the triangle and I see that I have, well, the right angle is where the square is. Opposite from the right angle, this longer side is the hypotenuse. They did not give me the measure of the hypotenuse, so I'm not going to worry about that guy there. They're asking me to find the measure of angle X. As I'm Looking at angle X, and I go across the triangle, 3. The side opposite from X has a length of 3. That side is the opposite side because we're looking and figuring it from X. The side that's 4, well, that's not the hypotenuse because we've already identified the hypotenuse. The side that's 4, that side is adjacent to angle X. I will write the word adjacent. And you can kind of look at it and see there, there are two sides that make up angle X. But once you know the hypotenuse, the other of those two sides is going to be the adjacent side. So we're looking for angle X, and if I go with Sokotoa, sine opposite over hypotenuse, cosine adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent opposite over adjacent. I'm going to split that. There's really three formulas in there. The formula for sine, the formula for cosine, and the formula for tangent. Well, I have the opposite side, that length, and I have the adjacent side length. So that eliminates sine, because I need the hypotenuse for sine. That eliminates cosine, because I need the hypotenuse for cosine. And that leaves me with tangent. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. So I will write the tangent of the angle. I'm going to write the word angle there. Equals opposite over adjacent. So there's the formula that I want to use for this problem. I'll write tangent of x equals three-fourths. On this problem, I want to solve for the angle. I'm going to type that into the, this problem into the calculator. But what you use on the calculator is this trig function that's it's not the tangent key, but it's written above the tangent key it's on the calculator. This tangent key and all the keys where you see something written above it on the calculator, they do more than one thing. If I want to get what's written on the calculator, I have to do the second key. On some calculators, it's a shift key. But this calculator, it says second. I have to do second tangent. And then I'm telling the calculator, don't do what's on the key, but do what's written on the calculator above the key. Now, the way I would write this problem before I type it in my calculator is this. The x and the 3 fourths are going to trade places. And when I trade places with them, it's not tangent anymore. It's tangent with a little minus 1 at the top. Uh, that is not 1 over tangent. A lot of people get confused with that. That is the inverse tangent.
tangent. The three-fourths is now with inverse tangent. And then the x lands on the other side of the equal sign. The x is by itself. Sometimes you can write this. People will write it as, uh, I'll write this out. I've written it as inverse tangent. And if you're doing the inverse tangent, you're doing a function where the angle is now on the other side of the equal sign away from the inverse tangent. And the trig ratio is now in parentheses. So inverse tangent, you might also hear some people call it arc tangent. I'm going to write out that arc tan 3 fourths equals x. These two expressions they are the exact same thing. It's just two different ways to write inverse tangent. I usually just go inverse tangent and keep going with the problem. So let me write though, these are the exact same thing. So you pick the one you decide you're going to write and write it that way. Well, let's look at this. How do we put this in the calculator? First of all, I see my calculator is in degrees. I want to make sure it's in degrees for these problems. And what I will do, I'm going to press second. And you can see the little second on the display right there. Press tangent. And the calculator is doing inverse tangent. Inverse tangent, 3 over 4. Well, I forgot to put the 4. Let me back up and do that. 3 over 4, close parentheses, and press equals. And x is 36.869897656 degrees. I'm going to write that out. I'm going to go ahead and put the x on the left side. x is 36.869897656 six five degrees if you're going to round it to one decimal place x is 36.9 degrees put the degree mark if you're measuring in degrees if you don't put the degree mark then you're telling the person looking at your paper that the units are something else and, th and that something else I talked about in a previous video that something else would be radians now we're not working in radians right now you'll see radians when you take trigonometry so you don't need to worry about what radians are but again if you don't put the degree mark you're telling the person reading the paper it's it's something else 